Hi everyone, I'm Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor for the City of Adelaide and welcome to the April edition of what's happening at Adelaide City Council and in particular what's happening in the Council Chamber. This week we are very, very pleased to sign a joint agreement, an important joint agreement with the State Government of South Australia to ensure that we uh, have a carbon neutral future for the City of Adelaide. What we've signed is the Compact of Mayors, which is a global initiative coming out of UNESCO which is all about building sustainable practices and a better environment for all of us in the future. Adelaide City Council is a national leader in reconciliation and we take great pride in that. And in recognition of it, we are renovating one of the rooms here at Town Hall and naming it the Reconciliation Room. That room is going to be a place where we welcome Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders and many others to discuss important matters, important cultural matters, whereby we can lead an even more inclusive agenda for the community. The room will be used for digital media, artefacts and various displays and just as importantly we'll be holding many meetings in there over the years. A great project, we look forward to getting on with it. Another important agenda on the Adelaide City Council list is the potential Oban project which is being championed by the State Government. Now first and foremost we welcome finding ways and means of bringing more people into the City of Adelaide and out of the City of Adelaide. Building our population in the city is important to all of us. With regards to the Oban project, we're working collaboratively with the government to ensure that we look at all of the parts of this project. This project of course has the potential to impact the parklands, furthermore it has potential to impact car parking, Rundle Street, residents and businesses. We've got to look at the long-term future about where we're going to have trams running in our city and we also need to have a look at the long-term future about what's happening at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. So there are a number of factors here. So what Council has done is we've written to the government and we've asked the government to consider some of these factors and build some guiding principles around this project because we believe that this is a city-making project as much, if not more so, than a transport project. So we'll be coming back to you soon uh, we're listening to our community very, very closely. Another debate which has been playing out in the council chamber is of course mobile food vendors. And on Tuesday evening in the chamber we had a presentation from a vendor who came in and chatted about some of the realities of operating a mobile business in the city of Adelaide. First and foremost, mobile food vendors are important because they bring a level of innovation to the city and they bring a level of vibrancy to our city streets that we otherwise wouldn't have. The important thing that Council's now focusing on is just finding that appropriate balance between mobile vendors and permanent vendors. In our opinion, they're both very important. We just need to find the best balance possible because they both contribute to the city. Thank you everyone. I look forward to seeing you next month. Stay tuned.